welcome to my Twitch session on Stateful Kafka Streams. So how that works is we're going to create a stream. You, you, Kafka Streams is, um, we're going to, I'm going to jump right into it and not give too much background. Um, Kafka Streams uh, is the native streaming platform for Apache Kafka. So we're going to assume you have a topic named input here and that's going to have our records contained in it. And then we're going to do an aggregation. So what that is, is we've got this word count. Um, we're going to stream it into my stream. And then we're going to do a peek, which just prints out the keys and values. And then we're going to call a group by key, which groups the records by key. And then we're going to aggregate. And then aggregate returns a K table. Um, so we need to actually convert that back to a record stream, and then we're going to peak again, um, which would show that peak is a way of um, adding, a, it's like a for each, it's uh, like a consumer, not a Kafka consumer, but a consumer function, a Java util consumer, uh, that's just going to perform a function on uh, the key and value. And it's not supposed to change, it really wouldn't want to do anything that would change the key and the value. Um, so it's expected to kind of uh, just do some sort of operation by side effects, but there really shouldn't be any changes to this. So here we're just using this um, to print out, um, you know, to print out the key and the value. So let's actually start by showing that. Um, I'm going to do this right here, and we're going to change that to string. We need to do that. And I'm going to, uh, I've got a producer right here. Uh, we're going to run this and let's start up the streaming application first. Okay, Kafka Streams is up and running. All right, and then we're going to run the producer. This is just going to produce uh, some just four records for us. Okay, so that produce our records for offset. And if we come over here to our stream, um, we should see okay, that did not print anything out. Okay, so why did you not print out? Um, Make sure Docker is up, but no. Okay, so it looks like our broker is up right there. Um, so, did this produce any output to this? Is So let's try this again. Apologize for this. Actually, let's, let's, oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, so those are the records right there that we see that we, um, we got consumed. So we could run this again. And this is going to produce some records again. Okay. And this, yep, see so there, we've got that. That showed up. Um, so now, so we've done that, so that the uh, Kafka Streams application has, uh, you can see that, that that's run, uh, and that printed it out. So now, let's go ahead and I'm going to let's go ahead and stop it. And we're going to uncomment these lines. And I need to change this back to integer. Okay, so the reason why I need to change this back to integer. Um, 
we're changing the type here. Um, and actually, let me do, um, I need to just realize something. Uh, it is that string. So it is that int. Okay, so there we go. So, um, so I had to change the output type to integer because we're doing uh, an aggregation, which is going to just, it's a real simple thing. It's just going to take um, the length of the string and then just um, add that, sum it up per key. Uh, kind of a simple application. Um, but that's, that's just a, it's, it's a good quick example of how you do an aggregate. It's going to give us an aggregation by key. So well, we're reading in from the input topic, and then we saw those values get printed. And so we're going to start this up again. And one configuration I'd like to point you to is we set the cache to zero. So this way we should see every record uh, coming through. Uh, so, so Kafka Stream, uh, let me back this up. Um, Kafka Streams offers um, stateful operations. So we had to group by key. Um, and then aggregate. And we're going to group this. That's going to give us the key. It's going to group everything by key. And then we're going to aggregate um, the aggregate the results of uh, by key. And we're just going to add this word count. Add the word count aggregator. Then we need to aggregate returns a k table. So we need to convert that back to a k stream. And then we're going to print out the results. And then we're going to write that to an output topic. So let's go ahead. Uh, our application is running. So let me stop this and just do a uh, OK, so that should give us. So now we'll see when it's starting to run. OK, so now we're up and running. So let's go ahead and produce some records. And let's go ahead and produce another round. OK, so that worked. And this is just printing out, this is just printing out the offset and then OK, so here we go. Um, so now we can see uh, I left off a okay, I apologize for that. Let's start this over again so we can see. All right. So our streams application is up and running. Uh, produce a round of records. And let's produce another round of records. Okay, and now we come back here. We can see now we got all of these results. Now it just keeps growing over time. So now what we're going to do, um, this configuration right here, cache max buffering config. By default, with a K table, K table is considered an update stream. Uh, so, unlike an event stream where key value pairs with keys, where even where the keys are the same, um, don't relate to each other. Um, you you want to see every every result matters, but with um, With K table, it's an update stream. So therefore, you really only you're really only concerned about the latest update because every record, if you had four records with the same key, you're really only concerned about that last one because that's the latest one because each one's considered an update to the previous one. So um, caching will is a way of limiting how many updates you see. So I set this to zero so we can see the action here, but I'm going to go ahead 
and shut this down. And I'm going to stop this. Whoops. And I'm going to set that. The default is 10 megabytes. So I'm going to start this up again. And you notice like we had all of those keys and values showing up. Um, even from the um, um, from the aggregation. So let's go over to our producer and let's produce some records. And produce another batch. Okay. Now if we come over here, you notice now we just have the input records as they've come in. They repeat because I did it twice. And there we go. So those are the latest. So um, we've got 114 characters and 216. So that is that is really how it would work. And the, so uh, with when you have an aggregation, a state file aggregation like this, um, what that'll do is... Uh, you know, you buffer the results, and then it'll it'll output it. Um, and by setting the cache to zero means we'll see every result. So I took that out, and then we could see the difference was uh, that we only got one result here for each key and value. And then the other component of when you see results is Kafka Streams by default has a commit interval of 30 seconds. Um, that so when the cache is full or when a commit happens is when you'll see results come across the screen like this. So but if we notice here, so that's that. So let me go ahead and let me produce I want to show you something here. So some time has gone by with me talking here. So let's go ahead and produce uh, let me produce again. There we go. And one more time. Okay, great. So now we've produced more records. And then you notice here that the output, it just keeps climbing. And we should see another one come up here in a, in a few seconds. So that it's, it's the aggregate just keeps climbing. Oh, there we go. 152, 280. So you notice the numbers just keep growing each time, which which we would expect. But what if you want to like show distinct counts over time? Like you want a bucket. You just, you just don't want an overall aggregate. So what we could do is we could window these results. So we're going to aggregate, and we're going to say uh, we're going to come here and we're going to say windowed by. Time windows of a duration of, we'll make it pretty short. Um, uh, duration dot of milliseconds, we'll say 500, 500, and then 500 milliseconds. And then we're going to advance by. Uh, we're going to stick with time windows of 500 milliseconds. Okay, 500 milliseconds. So that should give us a window of a window of 500 milliseconds with each one. Um, so it basically, you are going to get a count, and then once 500 milliseconds goes by, you're going to get a separate count. Now you're seeing here that this is uh, not happy with me right now. I call it to stream. It's because the key has changed now. The key is a windowed key. It wraps the string key. So we need to do a map. Um, I'll leave this the way it is so you'll see what that see what I'm talking about. And then we'll say we'll do a map. And then we're gonna say um, window key. Let's, let's do this. Uh, window key. Value, and then we're going to say uh, key value dot pair, and then we're going to say window key dot 
key and then we're going to just put in the value. Ah, now we're happy again. So that's what you have to do because we're going to extract that because we'll see what the window key looks like. So we're going to go ahead and start up our Kafka Streams application again. Okay, it's running. So now let's go over here and let's send some records. Okay, it sent records. Um, let's see what else. Okay. All right, all right. So I I need to update the um, I need to update the materialized here. Um, because it needs to work with a, a windowed store. Um, okay, so that's this isn't the new I okay. Problems of doing live coding here. I need to update this materialized to work with um, a windowed byte store. Um, materialized with uh, let me come over here. No, I don't think I don't have anything yet over here for that. Um, all right. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna have to call this for now. Um, but basically, let me see if. Uh, Stores on um, key value. That's not stores. Um, Uh, so key that, oh no, I'm just going to say, that's right, we're going to go here, um, key value store, stream, and then, right side, I believe. All right. Um, well, um, we're almost out of time, so I'm just going to stop it there. Um, so I apologize for that. Probably have to do this session again. Um, at any rate, um, so sorry this didn't work out. Um, but that's we would add windowing here to get. Uh, to get those results. And that's that's pretty much what I have for you uh, tonight. So um, probably do this again and do a, a much better job. Uh, obviously, I wasn't uh, prepared. But uh, hopefully, uh, I enjoyed talking to you guys streaming. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.